What if iron was a flexible material? What if you could use an external magnetic field and control flexible structures? To pick a fragile object or to pump liquid just by using magnetic field. By using magnetological elastomers, we are able to meet these challenges and present a new generation of smart materials. One of the main prototypes of the magnetically controlled grippers is the beak. The beak consists of two or four movable graspers that are entirely made of MRE. Its main advantage is its robustness. So even if punctured, it becomes operational. And as the MRE is magnetically active material, it is actively trying to grasp the object, to push against the object in its entire volume. It is controlled by just an electromagnet that is placed on the top of the graspers and there are no pneumatics or hardware systems needed for it to, be, to remain operational. Another big advantage of the beak prototype is its shape adaptation. So it is able to adapt its shape to the grasping object. And also we are able to modify the material according to the target application. So if the application requires the material to be more soft, we're able to use a different type of silicon rubber or to add an additive and make it more soft. Magnetorheological elastomer, uh, or MRE for short, is a material with dispersed ferromagnetic particles inside the silicon matrix. Uh, we are using addition silicons or other additives to achieve different types of material properties like stiffness or tensile strength and such. And we are using two types of particles. Firstly, the iron particles for its easy and ready to use applications or neodymium particles which we then magnetize and thanks to it we get tiny little magnets inside the material. Because the particles are everywhere inside the material, each part of the material adds to the total work done by the magnetic field. Thanks to the mathematical modeling then we can visualize the internal forces or calculate how strong the magnetic field needs to be and even discuss our ideas on the function of different prototypes. In our research we are focused on two main areas. Uh, firstly on magnetically guided soft robotic grippers and secondly on magnetically guided peristaltic pumps. The main part of the intestinal prototype is an MRE channel or MRE tube that is normally open and is placed around a rotating permanent magnet. When exposed to the magnetic field, uh, the, the tube collapses into itself and presses the inner content forward. Mm -hmm. The microintestinal prototype is very similar to the intestinal one, only it uses a normally closed channel that gradually opens and creates the peristaltic effect when exposed to a magnetic field created by an electromagnet. The main advantage of this prototype is that we are able to scale it down and currently we are working on a possibility of integrating this kind of peristaltic pump in directly into a microfluidic chip. One of the main advantages of the magnetically guided peristaltic pump is the fact that apart from the MRE channel there is no contact between the inner liquid and the actual pump. So it is uh, suitable for biological or medical applications. Another advantage is the precise control over the rate of flow.